everyone's there. Everyone's ready to go. And the food reviews are on. Be sticky out there. Here we are, welcome to another episode. I'm in another car, I'm in Sydney again. It seems all the cool racing's happening down here at the moment. I'm at Grudge Kings and I'm cruising the car park. I'm looking to see what's out here. It looks like it's all happening. It's nice and early, the weather is perfect. There's a lot of nice cars here. So come with me while we do a bit of a tough lap. I might put the arm up on the window like that and be fully sick. And let's see what's cruising around in the pits here. So many nice cars. Old Tiranas. Oh, have a look at that. That is immaculate. Some big transporters, some big cars, some really, really nice cars. You got the pack cars, George's, the Purge and Croydon. Some really big cars here. Holy, this is cool as. Look at the setups. And let's go for a cruise. I didn't even know if I'm meant to be up this far, but whatever. Let's just roll with it. Some nice bikes, gas racing. Everyone must be uh, getting everything fired up, ready to go. The smell of methanol in the morning. Mm. Oh, yes. Come get some. Is there a better smell? I just don't know. Well, let's go park this thing up. I'm sick of driving. Let's go. Get up close and personal with these guys. Let's do it. This little absolute monster of a car. Another SRS tuned deal. The boys always working flat out on it. An absolute monster turbo on this thing. All right, let's have a look at this thing. If this is not the best looking car on the property, I don't know what is. Holy, wow. This would have to be the best looking car on the property. This is immaculate. see down here all the way down from Queensland Steve Smith and the pro mod the old Mustang this car has cutting laps everywhere at the moment radial tire slick tire but I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna have a four-wheel drive tire on it soon and still go down the boys must have this thing dialed in I'll tell you what so I was just having a yarn of the boys Wow, the amount of effort these guys are going to, changing tyres, so it was on a radial a couple of weeks ago, it's back on a slick, like the next couple of days they're out testing it, changing slick sizes, they're here last night, they're flogging around trying to make this thing work, fuck, I'll take my hat off to a man, that's, uh, that's the level that you, I guess you got to be at when you run those pro mods, so let's go out and see how they go and hopefully uh, they can go run some PPs out there. Let's have a look here, but I'm just walking. And look what I'm seeing in the lanes here. It's all the ProFlow cars. Very, very nice. I love the number plate too. This car needs no introduction, that is for sure. The OG massive tube and another purple. Oof, I don't know how I feel about purple cars. It's that typical Sydney sort of spring day. Not a cloud in the sky too. The weather, it's warm in the sun, but pretty cool in the shade. So hopefully that means horsepower for these guys. Crowd's slowly building. 10 o'clock here. The Pro Mod boys are in the lane, so let's uh, try to get a good spot and watch these guys in action. We've got the two pack cars. ZX Camaro. Weird. 
go. Let's Hawks versus George. Two of the best RVs in the world in the lanes together now. This is the whole thing, grudge racing. I guess they're all friends, but at the same time, when you pull into those lanes, ain't no friends there. So hopefully they go door to door PBs. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Coming in to bring the first bulb on. Let's listen to these things sing. Both pre-stage. for both of those guys and really driving it. I think it was Anthony who was driving that. He um, he drove the thing, that's for sure. 690 with a fair few pedals there. Here we go. Steve Smith. This is one very pissed off Tirana. <laughs> Blown alcohol drinking monster by the sounds of that. Holy Jesus. Turbo versus Blower, Steve's Mustang versus this blown Tirana. Hits the shoots early. 650, I think it was. I can't really see that far there. The sun's right in about 228 mile an hour. All right, have a look at this thing. Pity Eunice. I believe this is a big nitrous engine. Pat Musi deal, I think. 900 and something cube. Versus a uh, twin turbos. Let's let them things eat. Oh, shit, he's put it on the lid. He's put it on the lid. Fuck. Oh, no. Hopefully he's all right. Get the car off. There's oil pissing out. Get the car off. Fuck. Wow. Let's hope the driver's all right there. That's the thing with those big slick tires. When they grab and go, there's not much you're going to be able to do to keep them coming back from that. But thank God the other driver didn't go in the burnout there. All right, I'm going to stop this there. The driver is out of the car, though. He is okay. Oh, well, why there's a bit of a track clean up. Let's go get ourselves a coffee. And let's go walk the pits and see some more toughies that are in the lanes. See if we can uh, get a bit of a yarn going with some of the people here and see what it's all about for them. Some coffees, what do you reckon? It has to be a long black, doesn't it? Surely, surely, let's go. All right, ready? Let's see how we go. Who reckons I'm gonna burn my mouth on this one? Oh, fuck. Yep, I just did it. The thing was like fucking lava. Cheers to the coffee van for uh, giving me a cup of lava every freaking time get it done but anyway enough crap on let's have a look through the pits we've gone past these boys already let's see what else is doing here i can smell the barbecue cooking oh that's the one thing i love about sydney is the people down here they love to barbecue and the meat and everything they do is just amazing so have a look at the caliber of some of these cars it's absolutely crazy of course the guys out in force this is such a cool truck load up with all the merch and the best thing about it the cars that are behind it are probably worth just as much as the trailer and the transporter Woo. damn twin turbo sto yes epic the boys obviously always working hard hey uncle hey shoot Gotta love that pro mod category. Stretched out, cut, big turbos. Let's go through a walk here and let's see what else is in the lanes here, but you know these things are fast. Same thing, all got that style. And this, this is one of my favorite pro mods for sure. This thing here is immaculate. And twin turbo, of course. We're just waiting for that the track to get cleaned up. And then these boys are going to go down. It's a very, very unfortunate accident. Driver is okay though. Hemi Power, small block Ford, 
No noise, let's go. If that doesn't get you G'd up, nothing will. Methanol, rubber, drag racing at its purest. door off that thing and, uh, drove the absolute door off it ended up in the other lane fucking sick drive to be able to keep that off the other guy wow what a badass drive absolute killer man these boys are working for these big tire stuff that's sketchy this is what we want to see twin turbo action Horsepower and plenty of it going to be on action here. That Hemi Life twin turbo, the sound, you just can't beat it. Strap a couple of turbos to it and you've got a good time. And that's a recipe. The Devil's Taxi, that thing, holy hell, the man was driving that thing. Let's go, side by side passes. things and driving them I mean I get you got to drive the radial cars but at the same time it doesn't look like you got to drive them anywhere near as hard crazy Just in 
one of the recent covers of Street Machine. There is money on the battle on this one. Who is going to take it? Both coming into pre-stage. One bulb's on, two are on. story that's gonna make for a good story all right I'm here with some of the gentlemen the people you meet I mean <laughs> that's your umbrella you good you good Legend of the motorsport community, uh, you'll know who the man is. Now, we got another one of the gentlemen here, brother. What's happening? Hey, bro. Tell me. Tell me, what's the go with this thing, man? Uh, it's been a long, uh, it's probably about a 10 year build. Yep. Uh, Ever since I've known you, you've been, you've been working on this thing, brother. Okay. Yep. And then other cars have gone on the way, and then this sort of got back put on the back burner, but yep. about three years ago, we sent it over to Sydney from Auckland. Um, yep. Alex Brong on the motor pretty much has got his. Uh, as a bare roller, yep. and did everything from the motor to the trans, um, interior sounds. Yep. Got it to the point where it's it's running today, driving, we'll put some Ks on yep. over the last couple of days, it's been pretty yep. cool. I can't get over just how clean this thing looks. Like, Tell us about the combo dude, what's in it? Uh, so, single cam 30, uh, uh, Garrett 8080 on the side of it, um, Hypertune cold side, intercooler, radiator, so pretty much did um, Oh, we've got a whole lot of the impact fabrications, did um, all the plumbing and stuff as well. Yep. Um, ours race guys bought 400, sheet metal 9 inch. Yeah boy, uh, all then, the good stuff. Yeah, all the good stuff eh. Just made just to be a cool street car really. Yeah. And um, you just flew all the way over from New Zealand. Yeah. That's yeah. sick. So it's been a couple of trips over. Yeah. So, um, yep. This time we landed Thursday midday and then Thursday night we're swinging hoops in it. Uh, somewhere. <laughs> or Mexico? <laughs> I, I did actually notice, I did actually notice them. There may be a little bit of rubber down there. That'd be from it scrubbing though, right? It yeah, wouldn't be yeah, exactly. from the burnout. Yeah, big fellas in the back. Yeah, there, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Guys, I can't express, like, I don't know if you can see this through the camera. The attention to detail on this thing. The boys have absolutely knocked this out of the park. What's the goal with it, brother? What's, what do you want to do with it? The idea was, initially we were going to race it, but I think learning off some of the other cars we've got, it'll just deteriorate too much, and the car just means a little bit too much to us. So the idea is just a cool street car, put yeah. some Ks on it, drive it, power cruise, those sorts of events. Yep. And we'll you'll take it from. back home, or you'll 100%. leave it over here? No, no, we will. We'll I can, I'm, I'll look after it in my shit if you want. Well, look, we are going to ask us, it's a bit too shy to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, we will. I think a few months we'll do a few more shows of the internet and then yeah. we'll send it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely think it's a red hot contender to win every car show it goes in. <laughs> that is for sure. Let's see if we can get the other fella on for another interview. What do you reckon? <laughs> Brother, talk to me. Where's your car? Which one? Which one? Yeah, what video on? Tell me. The Mustang, what's the deal with it? Where, where is it? It's going to stay as it is. Sure. Looking to replace that with like a GDR, like a 35. Yeah, yeah, cool. I want to do that roll racing. Yeah. Look. Is it big in New Zealand? Not that big. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah Sydney's the pinnacle, hey. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I'd yeah. like to build something to try and I might be close to the top. Sure. Why not? Why not? Just got to plan it. Yeah, yeah, get it going, get that ball rolling. The Ute's on the way. Yeah. Um, the Calais getting tubbed. Yeah. That'll probably come over next. Yeah, sure. Probably the Ute. Yep. And then I've got a VL Turbo I've had for 22 years. Man, you guys got so many cars. I don't know how oh, you do it, man. It's... One's hard enough, and then you got five of them oh, on the go. The <laughs> um, but that'll come too, like. That'll be a... Want to build something special with that? Yeah, sure. Like, that'll be mad. And what colour? I'm a, I don't know. It's always been blue. I bought a blue. Yeah. Um, the rear's big, so it's going to be a straight two-seater. Sure. Um, I want that to be more like an ornamental piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I think the Calais would be more of a goer. Yeah. Like skids. That's yeah, all yeah, on yeah. that car. The boys do love a good skid, that's for sure. It's fun, stressful. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Awesome. Don't you like, want to run some numbers, build a like, proper race car or something? Yeah. yeah. Down the road. Yeah, now of course. Now it's just, fuck, want to have, have fun. fun. Yeah. yeah, just chill. That's the main game, eh? Bro, it isn't just, well, yeah, just starting to like work to live. Yeah, yeah. amen, instead of working. Instead of living to work, you know? Amen, I'm feeling you. But having something like this, I feel like you have to work to afford a nice toy. Bro, you do. I can't believe I've seen the boys in public. No, no, it's, no. it's good. If you, everyone's watching this, if you know, you'll know. Yeah, if Gentlemen, you know, you know. if you know, you know. Yeah. The boys. Thank you, brother. Well, I fucking all good, bro. Legend, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank, thank you. you.
6.20, 2.24 mile an hour to a 6.30 at a 1.94. Wow, the Devil's Taxi was on one then, holy hell. All right, here we are, the food reviews are on. The pizza from the standard place here, let's go. I've never eaten there before, but I've always stopped to have a look. Not bad. Very hot. Not bad pizza. Not bad pizza at all. Always working flat out, no doubt. Trying to get these things turned around. What's the thing about Sydney is you see so many extravagant cars in the pits. Shame it's not parked properly, but we all know about the old the old car park police, and you've got to be. You gotta be parking within the lines, but I guess if you got something as cool as that, you don't really have to. So there's a whole bunch more cool cars around. Let's go have a look at this nitrous deal of Simon Krieger's. This thing is cool as hell. I do believe he just lost a race before in his work ute that he's got. I was actually a bit of a funny one. This thing is serious. The size of those primaries. Here's another car. Fastest thing on a 235 at the moment in Australia, I do believe, or fastest ET. <laughs> Hello, mate. How are you? Good, sir. How are you? Good, mate. What do you know? Oh, a bit of this, a bit of that. Nice, yeah. mate. Fastest man on a radial. Hey? Oh, weight reduction. <laughs> That's the secret, isn't it? It, it decided it wanted its own weight reduction. Oh, nice. Looks better than factory. That's what I reckon. <laughs> I'll leave it in there. <laughs> you wouldn't even paint it brown, brother. You wouldn't even know. <laughs> So this is the one that everyone's chasing. Mr. Warspeed, the man can build an engine. All right, it's really starting to fill up now. Car park is full, people everywhere. Racing starting to get a little bit more serious now. We're into that Chicago shootout style, so I believe everyone's seated, so let's hopefully see some good racing now leading up into the finals. Such a big mix of cars here too. Got everything from full-blown pro mods to old school. I don't even know what that is. Valiant maybe? To Cortina's. We've got Nelson's blown Ute. This thing's proper badass. Let's have a look at this thing. On a big tire. One week he's doing burnouts. Next minute he's drag racing. Which one's more fun to drive, mate? Definitely the other one. This one's been me off the pace. <laughs> Until this pass and it's all gonna go smooth. The size of that blower and that thing. Yeah, so as I was saying, and then you've got an old Falcon. Sounds definitely turbo, power powered, I would assume. We've got some rotaries. We've got an old Porsche with big trumpets on it. Sort of all happening here. Tirana with some nitrous. So many cool cars. I think I have to say it. I think Sydney just has, it has better motorsport events than Queensland in terms of the racing side of things. Correct me if I'm wrong. What do you reckon? Queensland's definitely got more radial cars. But Sydney definitely have more events that are bigger and better, so. So, the Curie Brothers, Tirana, nitrous powered deal. Young guy driving this thing too, Jaden. It had a P plate on the back, a red P, so let's see what the dealio is here. Nitrous versus nitrous.
see the difference between the guys that are on the on the slick tyre versus the guys. The guys that are on the slick tyre versus the guys on a radial. There's nothing going down if you're on a radial here at the moment. It is so greasy. So I guess that's the battle you play when you got to try race people. It's race the track and not so much the time. To the back of the starting lane, please. Thank you. is super greasy so I'm not surprised we're still rolling through with some decent mile an hour so hopefully that's enough for them to get a win on the board it was a solo so I would assume so but she's sticky out there there's literally no grip on this thing I'd hate to be a radial right now especially in the heat of the day with that sun beaming down on it all right things are starting to heat up now they're out there giving the track a bit of a rub putting some tie down she's greasy out there as I, I was telling you guys before they've just called the pro guys back around so you know what that means all the fastest guys are going to go attention heads up pit. first oh, ready this is a final call for pro elite to the back of the staging lanes please you heard it It's the final call. Everyone's there. Everyone's ready to go. George Jozetsky's 35 bodied, I guess you could say. I've been interested in the battles with him and Anthony. I don't know if they're coming out or not yet, but this car is immaculately dressed. Look at it, just everything is perfect versus that purple car over there. I don't even know what it is. Is it like a, um, it's definitely a Mazda, but I'm not sure what, it's fast. That's for sure. And it's obviously purple too, so my favorite proper badass.
19 versus 7-6, 134. Thirty-two mile an hour. Wow, five ninety. Wow, that is haul in the mail. What an effort! From five second passes to walking through the pits, feeling like I'm five seconds away from jumping in on these barbecues and grabbing myself some uh, lamb koftas and whatever else is cooking. The smells in Sydney. If you've been here, you know what's up. Is, is there a better place you want to be? Then at the racetrack when everyone is cooking, it's not smoke off the tires, it's off the barbecue. Oh, come at me. It smells an absolute cracker. So on that note, I'm walking through the pits. I'm getting out of here now. I'm gonna go get myself some of the food myself, but let's have a look at some cars on the way out. Two Aussie Lambos, two Aussie Lambos. Here we go, check it out. Yes, Simmons bud. And then we've got this side mounted blower. Yes, bud, that's what it's about right there. Look how clean this thing is. Factory, proper tuppy. V6 3.8 hands with your boy. I quite like that as well. Look at them all. Proper tuppies. Well, that's me signing out. Stay tuned. Some more episodes coming up. I've got some in the sheds episodes coming up with some cool people. My car's been a bit quiet on that front, but the next couple of weeks I've got some videos coming. Engine's going to be coming out. We're going to be doing some. Uh, Checkovers and just seeing how the car has gone in terms of bearings and all that type of stuff. More, for, more so just for prevention side of things. Not so much more we picked up on anything, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. So, some videos of that coming out. Stay tuned. Drop like a comment. You know the usual drill down below. Drop some comments. Tell me what you reckon. Let's go.